skin. It's what covers our entire body. It's our largest organ, you know. Spread it out and it would cover a tennis court. That's huge. But it's also incredibly thin, like a sheet of paper. Can you believe it? Think of all the things your skin does. It protects you from the sun's harmful rays. It keeps your insides in and the outside world out. And it's constantly renewing itself, shedding dead cells and growing new ones. Amazing! We often take our skin for granted, but it's a remarkable feat of engineering. It's flexible, waterproof, and surprisingly strong. It can heal itself from cuts and burns, and it even helps regulate our body temperature. So next time you look in the mirror, take a moment to appreciate your skin. It's one of the most important and fascinating parts of your body. Our skin is like a superhero, protecting us from all sorts of dangers. It acts as a barrier against germs and bacteria, keeping us healthy. It also helps us sense the world around us through touch, temperature, and pain. But that's not all. Our skin also plays a vital role in regulating our body temperature. When we get too hot, we sweat, and the evaporation of that sweat cools us down. And when we get too cold, our blood vessels constrict, reducing heat loss. And let's not forget about vitamin D. Our skin produces this essential nutrient when exposed to sunlight. Vitamin D helps our bodies absorb calcium, which is crucial for strong bones and teeth. So you see, our skin is much more than just a pretty face. It's a complex and vital organ that keeps us alive and thriving. Now, here's a fun fact that might surprise you. Did you know that human skin is remarkably similar to that of a rhinoceros? Yes, you read that right. Rhinos and humans share a common ancestor, way back in time. Of course, there are some obvious differences. Rhino skin is much thicker and tougher than ours, designed to protect them from predators and the harsh African sun. And let's not forget about those impressive horns. But on a microscopic level, the structure of our skin is surprisingly similar. Both rhino and human skin are made up of layers of cells, including a tough outer layer called the epidermis and both contain specialized cells that produce melanin, the pigment that gives our skin its color. So the next time you see a picture of a rhino, remember that you're looking at a distant relative, at least in terms of skin structure. It's a funny thought, isn't it? Now for a slightly creepier fact. Did you know that after we die, our skin is one of the last parts of our body to decompose? It's true. While our internal organs quickly break down, our skin can persist for weeks, months, or even years. This is because skin is incredibly durable. It's designed to withstand a lot of wear and tear, from sun exposure to scrapes and scratches. And even after death, it can continue to resist decomposition, especially in dry or cool environments. In some cultures, this preservation of skin after death is seen as a spiritual phenomenon. But for most of us, it's just a slightly unsettling reminder of our own mortality. So there you have it, a journey from the fascinating to the funny, and finally, to the slightly spooky. Our skin is a truly remarkable organ, worthy of our admiration and respect, even after we're gone.